find a man like me. Hey! Polka.slim! How are you, buddy? Good. All welcome, right. welcome. Nice to see you. Thank you, man. First of all, take a seat. Yeah. Welcome to Umeo. Yeah, thanks. How are you doing? All right, all right. It's nice to be here. Can you tell us a little bit about you? About Polka.slim? Yeah, I was um, born in Virginia. Uh, grew up in Massachusetts, Lynn, Massachusetts, West Lynn. And yeah, grew up in Georgia, Marietta, Georgia, for six years. Uh, lived in Los Angeles six years, New York four years, yeah, moved around, lived in Italy for four years, traveled around Europe, and now I'm in Umeå. And how do you come to, to Umeå? It's such a lovely place like, like this city. Uh, well, I was uh, lucky enough to, to meet a beautiful girl who lived uh, in Umeå for quite some time. Uh, we met in Brooklyn. And uh, yeah, it brought me here. And she's she's Swedish. She is a Swedish woman. Yeah. <laughs> All right, great. Uh, can you tell us a bit about the the music, the style that you have? It's very unique, and it's it's not that common you hear that type of music anymore. Uh, we'd like to elaborate a bit on your music style and the, the sure. instrument that you're playing. Sure. Um, yeah, it's just a, a type of Mississippi Delta blues, uh, older from the 1920s. Uh, early 1930s. Uh, I cover people like Skip James, uh, Scrapper Blackwell, uh, Mississippi John Hurt particularly, uh, yeah, Blind Willie McTell. Uh, these guys are great to me. And, uh, the style I play is uh, called Piedmont style. Uh, it's a type of picking style that has to do with the bass and the treble at the same time. Uh, Elizabeth Cotton also, uh, I don't know, she's an old uh, blues singer from uh, back in the day, but uh, she had a great style, left-hander, okay. <laughs> played upside down like Jimi Hendrix, so amazing. So, uh, yeah. is there, how do you see the, the blues scene here in Sweden? Do you think it's uh, as big as in, 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 in the States, or is it smaller? Well, yeah, I mean, blues is it's, uh, a pretty big genre so there's different types of blues that people play a lot of what I usually come about is like uh, Chicago blues or the shuffle or the boogie type like ding do 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 that type of blues which is good in its own way you know it's not my my style I don't really prefer it but it's a uh, that's what I usually hear anyone that talks about blues it's usually this type of Chicago shuffle style in New York even <clears throat> there's not so many people playing older uh, traditional blues songs I have found one place in um, Brooklyn um, called the Jalopy Theater and then there's a place called Goodbye Blue Mondays in Brooklyn that I would play at sometimes but uh, yeah, these places had um, some people that were pretty keen to the style of blues that I play. And so how, how did you yourself get into the whole music scene? Is it like in the, in the family, everyone has been playing music, or is this you yourself as <laughs> no, a talent who started all. out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, most of my family is a blue-collar, uh, working-class people, like Massachusetts people often are. Um, yeah, I just... I always loved music, all types of music, uh, folk, rock, uh, I love the Rolling Stones, I love Bob Stones. Dylan, I love, you know, all types of music, I love jazz, but blues is the only thing I wanted to play, it's like I, I had to play it, I had to learn, so yeah, just through friends, uh, I have one friend, David Copley, he's a great artist and guitarist, and I met him in Los Angeles. Uh, where I lived for a few years and uh, yeah we started off together we made a, a group called Cops and Robbers okay cool yeah Cops and, and it's more country blues type stuff how big was his uh, group was it you and it your, your me, friend me uh, my buddy David Copley from West Virginia my other best friend Ryan Spring Dooley from Chicago and my other friend Andrea DeAndrea from Naples so we all met in Naples, except for me and David. We were together like eight years playing together. And we met Ryan and Andrea there, and he plays saxophone, Ryan. Dre plays guitar, I play guitar. 
cops. Uh, David plays guitar. And so we all got together and made this band and traveled around Italy mostly. What is that you enjoy, enjoying the most about touring with a band, like a, a group of friends like, like in that way? Oh, it's great because it's just about music. There's always an op opportunity to play with your best friends, you know, and for people to listen. And that, to me, was the funnest part, just like, it was always about music. Wake up and play, you know, play all day till you go to sleep and then, you know, wake up and play again in some new place, meet some new people, have a good conversation, you know. And, and the, the group has just now, you, you split up or is this you yeah, doing your own solo everyone's thing? everyone's kind of doing their own thing now. Yeah. I went home for a year and a half. I went to New York. Uh, David stayed in Italy, but now he's in Leipzig, Germany. I was there with him recently, played on the streets together. And uh, Ryan is in Naples, Dre's in Naples. But there, Ryan has a new band called Little Pony. All right. And really good stuff. So main, mainly now your your music that, mm -hmm. that you're performing, is it mainly like a street music that you do, that you go out and you just find a spot and you just want to play for the people? Or do you also organize, you're part of like different types of festivals or events? Well, I'm really bad at, you know, the business part of this. But, uh, I would like to be more a part of the festival scene. I, it's really hard because I don't stay stay still so much. I'm always moving around, but hopefully it'll change now as I have a, a place here now and I'm a resident. Yeah. My girl. And how, how do you think the the music scene? We just recently we had Bramble Siran. We have a U by U festivals coming yeah, up. Sweden I'm has a lot of. Actually working at the U by U. Oh, you're gonna be yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. like safety or some you're shit. You're in safety, yeah. so you're yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be hearing you perform, maybe? <laughs> no, no, maybe next year. Maybe, maybe next if year. If I can, like, pull some strings. Pull some year. strings yeah. this, this year. Yeah, butter them up. Um, how many hours a day do you practice uh, to, to master your art? Because, as I said, it's very unique what you do. Yeah, um, I, don't, I don't know. I just kind of... I always want to see, at least see the guitar close to me, so I can, if something's in my head, I want to play it, you know? So I don't I don't know how many hours uh, at least two probably a day, but just randomly I don't really have a set time. I just okay. What about uh, other venues here in in in, in um, you Have you played so far? I know um, you've been involved with like it's only rock and roll and yeah yeah I played at it's only rock and roll. That was really really cool. Cool people over there. They have a band called Wolfman Jag. It's pretty cool and they play blues too. Okay. Um, yeah, but I love uh, Vedicat. Oh, I Ver love to play there. Yes. I played yes. there in, in December, yes. and uh, I really like the people, Victor and all those guys. They're really nice people, and I love the the whole like do it yourself thing. And uh, it's, a, it's a big rock and roll scene here in. There uh, is, yeah, it's a big rock and roll scene. It's a great hardcore scene, hardcore and a great scene. punk scene yeah. here, and I like punk music. And there's a lot of good good bands here like uh, the Holies uh, the Skeletons I particularly like these bands yeah there's great music here and it, it's nice to see like such a small town with like so much diverse music and such like a passion for music and people that the people that I've seen play uh, really it's not about a show no uh, it's more like you know just them doing their thing with their instrument, which I really like. So seeing the, the Umio culture in, in the music scene, what's your perspective, you know, compared on, on an international stage, you uh, know, from being in Massachusetts and, you know, being in L.A.? Hmm. Uh, I mean, what, how would you rate it? You know? Rate it? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, New York has a, a huge scene, but I don't like a lot of the stuff that comes out of New York because there's too much of it, you yeah. know? So a lot of it gets watered down and, like, out of a hundred bands, you like three of them, you know, because there's so many of them. But that's what I like about here. I mean, yeah, there's lots of bands, but it, within context of how many people are here, you know. So it seems like a lot of these bands here, I mean, it's quality music, and they like care about the music more than anything else. Yeah, I think Verkit has been have had like about 200 gigs yeah. something a year and that yeah, that's they that's work. That they, they work like, a lot. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, I like that. If you could play any fe festival, which which would be your dream festival? Oh, wow. Anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world. I don't know. I'm and not what? really even too I don't even know that much about the festival scene, but like I don't know, something that would have to do with like blues or old blues. I think I would really like to be around 
older people especially that, that play this type of music that I can sit back and listen to and really dig, really enjoy. So on your free time, what sort of music do you listen to yourself? Like you, you told me before, you, the different artists that inspire you. Uh, you do listen to different type of genres. Sure. Is anything special? Any kind of like besides the blues? The blues stuff. The I blues stuff. Listen to. Yeah. Uh, bon yeah. Jovi, yeah. 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 Bon Jovi. No, I like. Uh, I also like hip hop. I like some of the new hip hop stuff out right now, like Earl Sweatshirt, and I like Juicy J, and yeah, I like all that stuff too. Uh, R and B now, not so much, but. Uh, yeah, like even some of the techno stuff that I'm, I don't really know any. The EDM about. scene? Not really. Yeah. I mean, if I'm in the club or something, which yeah. is rarely, but when I am there, like it's, you know, sometimes I hear something and be like, oh, this is nice, but I probably won't know who it is. You know? you're, so you're, you're about to become a father, I've heard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how does it feel? Uh, well, it's great. I mean, because I'm in love, you know. And, uh, I think when when you're lucky enough for it to happen like that, I mean, it's just like an extension, like a manifestation of your love with uh, with another person. So it, I feel great about it. I mean, I'm excited and confused and you know all that and afraid, but I think it's overall it's beautiful. It's excitement. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. yeah. I'm How would you describe the Swedish culture in 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 a few sentences? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's really weird for me. I'm sorry. It was really weird for me right now because, like, I don't understand much because I don't speak yeah. the language yet. So I'm just kind of basically always in some kind of dream state because I don't understand verbally what's happening. But uh, from what I see, the culture is uh, very rich and old and is old and steeped in tradition, which I would like to get to the bottom to one day when I can understand more. But I, I like, uh, especially the the nature here, and the culture that's surrounded by the nature. You know, like midsummer and. So how how do you handle the, the the Swedish winters in Umeå when it gets minus thirty? Oh degrees? man, it was hardcore, man. It was like, I mean, I'm from Boston, and New York is cool, uh, cold as hell too. But I think the darkness threw me off. Yeah, just like waking up and you know. I might wake up around noon or so, then it gets dark around 2 p.m. So it was like really hard. Yeah, man. yeah. Up until like what is it, 12 o'clock, and then yeah, suddenly it falls down. It like... never, to me, it never sets. And this is also bugged out because like when I first got here, I just experienced this this new the summer, the sun being up all day, and yeah, it just feels like on the other side of the world, like when in New York, when the when it's like this, like this kind of light. Uh, that happens here at like two in the morning. It happens there like six, seven in the morning. Like after you party all night at a summer party, you're going home and it looks like this. So it just okay. feels weird to be like, you know, doing normal shit and like <laughs> it's like two in the morning, but the sun's up. It's still up. Yeah, yeah. you're still wearing your shades at yeah, three o'clock yeah. in the morning. If you, you feel like you you partied all night, but you, How, do, you um, just watch movies. And towards <laughs> the end of this year, do you any other gigs that if. You, 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 is, is it planned now? Any tours? Well, any I albums? Got, I just got back like a little less than a month ago in Umeå. So now I'm just looking for gigs. Just want to play anywhere I can. Hopefully I'll, I'll have time to set up um, something soon in Verikad again because I like to play there. So maybe in September I can organize, find a couple other bands. Maybe get an agent and get some Agent, or, I don't know. That <laughs> seems like too much of a commitment for me. I like to be hands-on, kind of do it yourself. You can move good. around. Yeah, you know, without answering anyone else. It's, I like to look for gigs and stuff like that and meet new people. So, yeah, just looking for more gigs. To, so to tell play. me about Polka.Slim then. Yeah. Where will Polka.Slim be in two years? Wait, wait. In two years. If you could dream your scenario. Oh shit! I would have a, a farm somewhere with my wife and kid and uh, be Swedish making, farm. Yeah, maybe Swedish. <laughs> so Swedish cows. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Swedish cows. Yeah. <laughs> and a dream would be like in Italy somewhere you could like, or California, somewhere I could um, you know grow year round. You know, so for temperature wise. You know. And yeah, just. Being able to travel and pay for my food with my music would be my dream.
Yeah, no, of course, I can imagine. Yeah. I think it's unique. We're going to be hearing you play in a little while. Sure. Uh, before we hear you play, I, I'd like to know what is the five things that you cannot live without? Five, five things? Five things that I can't live, live without. without. Jesus, five is a lot. I don't even <laughs> need that much. <laughs> Three things then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Water. Water. <laughs> uh, my girl and my guitar. The guitar, yeah, yeah. and my friends. Uh, you have any philosophy that you live by? No, no philosophies. No music. No, just, just, just music. Okay. Enjoy life. Yeah, enjoy, enjoy music. Life. Be, try to be happy. Do what you love. That's, that's all. Just do what I do. What you love to do. That's a great philosophy. You know, yeah. just take it uh, life as it come and just. Yeah, yeah. Live. It's cool to have goals, but don't kill yourself. I mean, I don't know. This is just me. <laughs> no, I think Umi is great for that. Umi is yeah. a place where you can really lay back yeah. and not stressing yourself like some which people do in other cities. It's true. It's true. It's, 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 I think, yeah, it's hard to not stress in this type of, you know, in this society nowadays. But, uh, yeah, it's good to not stress, yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, so we're going to hear you play now. What, what song are we going to hear you play? And I don't know. Let's do, uh, I'll do some Mississippi John Hurt. Um, Ain't no telling. Ain't no telling. Yeah. Okay. Here comes Ain't no telling. Very nice. Thanks, Thank you so much. Thank you, First man. First of all, do you just you write all your songs yourself? Oh no, these are the traditional old songs from the 20s and 30s. I also write my own songs too. Okay, you write yeah. your own songs as well. Yeah, as well. Do you have anything uh, you like to say to people aspiring to become blues singers themselves out there and playing the guitar as well? Uh, I could say that yeah. I mean, just do, keep doing it, and like you know, there's so much material out there to like keep alive and to like learn from you know all these songs are like there's so much to learn from you know, as, as far as playing writing and yeah. singing yeah it's amazing okay fantastic thank you so much for being here on backstage with us at the new six degree thank, thank you so you, much man. and i wish you uh, best of luck with the new baby and thank best you. of luck with the career as well and the end of 2014 cool thank you thank you Breakfast chair, dinner in Tennessee. Breakfast chair, dinner in Tennessee. 